Hi guys, it's Jamie here and today I'm going to show you my process for making the Advent journaling tins. The tin I have, I bought six of these, is two and a half inches deep, two and three quarter to just under three wide and it will be the same three in length but to the calves that I've had to cut it's two and three quarter by two and three quarter or if you're in centimetres seven by seven centimetres. I have cut 24 of these from craft card. These need to be covered. Now I have some off cuts from our Christmas papers and we will be seeing how much of this can cover one of these covering just one side. I'll be using probably something like a glue stick for the majority of it. The art glitter glue around the edges. You could sew them if you wanted to. My sewing machine is still out of action unfortunately. Put that down on the papers burnish it really well because you want a good adhesion and you're going to do that for 24 journaling cards now every single one of these has been covered and trimmed down to the original card size i'll be cornering the edges and when they're all cornered I'm going to use the espresso because my vintage photo has run out. Stain around the edges for that old fashioned grungy look and bring the stain in. I'll be doing that on all 24 of the cards. When it comes to decorating these cards, I'm keeping it relatively simple with a small collage made Tim Holtzy style and also a activity or an act of kindness that I've typed up. We've got things like an activity is burn a Christmas candle, take a family photo, make a card for a friend is an act of kindness, compliment a stranger. So a mixture of things to do for oneself and things to do for others. Keeping it simple, I've got some off cuts from the Christmas papers that have been cut to different sizes, some scraps that I've just found the five on it. I've got a picture of a child sledging, pay for a stranger's coffee. Pop that down. This card almost has a whole scene in itself that you don't need to really decorate. So I'm keeping this one simple with the three-piece collage with your activity or gratitude, Tim Holt style figure and a Merry Christmas sign. As you can see, once you cut all your scrappy pieces out, they're pretty quick to do. Let's get one more. I've got a piece like this. More sledding children. Another sentiment. I think we might be able to add something extra to this one. Another piece of plaid. Another thing to do when creating these mini collages is to add layers and textures of different items that aren't necessarily associated with Christmas. For example, here we have some dictionary or book script, some lace, some coffee stained piece of crochet packaging from Amazon and we can create a background for our figures using some of this. We could do a whole band. I seem to have done everything to the left at the moment so maybe we need to do something a bit different. How about horizontally? And we've got a bit of packaging got this half crochet piece here and we need the Fabri-Tac glue for that one or the Uhu all-purpose glue. We do have the kids and their toys to put down. We could put that over to one side. Another thing that can be done is to add some three-dimensional embellishments. These were very very cheap like a pound a pack. Really not expensive at all. 
those little gold bells and that gives it another added punch. To make them more wintry is to add a bit of snow. I'm going to use a Sharpie white paint marker for that. Now normally you flick them but obviously because we've got faces on here we don't want random snow going over everything. So we're just going to add some dots which are going to look a bit bright but when they're dry going to stain over the dots so they're more in keeping with the feel the grungy feel as soon as these are dry i'm taking my espresso and lightly rubbing over that will help dull down some of the white snowflakes to make these useful journaling cards we want to now back them with paper that you can write with i've got some papers here from a uh, Christmas kit from Emma that's in her Etsy. I am going to be gluing a lot of journaling cards onto backing papers. You can use coffee stained normal paper if you want. And you're going to want to burnish it down really well at the edges to make sure it all sticks properly. There are 24 cards to back and burnish and cut out. Once it's all been backed and cut back into shape, I'm going to quickly go around the cards at the front and also a bit more at the back. As the last thing really that we need to do. Here are the cards for the final tin. They're not numbered, but they do have different ideas for the 24 advent days for example bake cookies for a neighbor call a relative take a family photo burn a christmas candle pay for a stranger's coffee and so on lots of different ideas and then of course the reverse is blank so the person can make notes on it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very very soon. Bye!